stage four. Welcome to my magic room where I am going to make it possible for gluten-free people to eat pizza. Yes, you heard it correctly. Through the magic of cauliflower, you will be able to eat pizza again. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put, this is going to make two really large pizzas. So I'm putting the cauliflower in there. Don't say I don't like cauliflower. You will not not like this. Okay, I know that's two double negative. That's a double negative. That means you will like it. So we're going to put the lid on the food processor. We're going to pulse it. That way you get an even cut. If you don't pulse it, you don't get an even cut. over to our trays. Two. And pop that down there. Pop that down there. I'm going to spread that out. It's very wet. First of all, we're going to make the tomato sauce that goes on the pizza. Now, if you're really pushed for time and you've got a jar of pizza sauce, of, sorry, pasta sauce in your pantry, you can use that. But today we're gonna make our own. So we're gonna show you how, I've got the pot on here warming up. And I'm gonna show you how to dice an onion. First of all, we're gonna come through like that with the core at the back. Notice I've got my hands in the core. Do the other one as well and then the next part you have to be very careful okay just put your fingers on the top there and come through a couple of times not all the way through then keeping your knife on the board you go through like this keeping your fingers in the claw and your knuckles tucked under like that and then you rest your knife against your knuckles. Well, we don't waste that last bit. I'll show you what we do with that. With that last bit, make it into strips. And then line them up. And go through like that. Okay, Napolitana or Napoli sauce is so easy to make. Put your oil in the pot on a medium heat. Put your onions in there. Okay. 
and you can either put two cloves of fresh garlic or a couple of teaspoons of crushed garlic. I'm going the easy way today with the crushed garlic. Next step. Come and have a look at this. The onion has gone transparent. We're going to add the herbs, oregano and basil. We're going to add the tomatoes. Chopped tomatoes out of the tin. And it has a little bit of sugar in it. And it wants a fair bit of salt and some pepper. Bring that up to high. So this is so easy and cheaper than buying it in the in a jar. Probably not as quick as opening a jar. And that needs to cook out for about 10 to 20 minutes. And then that'll be ready for our pizza. It's our magical gluten-free pizzas. I'm actually gonna, I've actually turned them over. They've already cooked the base. I'm actually gonna turn it over like that because it's already a bit brown on the bottom there and it's not so brown there. This is just a margarita pizza. We're gonna spread it out with the back of your spoon all over like that. Try and get out to the edges. And I've got a mixture of mozzarella and tasty cheese there. So I'm just gonna spread that out all over. That one's ready and that's going to go in the oven until it's cooked. I'm not sure how long that'll take, but it's going to keep an eye on it. Here is our cauliflower pizza. And we're going to take that, pop it on a board, and we've got a pizza cutter to cut it with. And then we're going to serve it.